to League Scout. I'm your host Aeon, and this time I take Diana to the top lane to break the meter in my ongoing series Extra League. I want to bite her a bit of tanky to stay in fight, so I call it stay in fight Diana. You will see later. Have fun and let's head into the champion selection. And here we are. Diana? Where's the set? This could be interesting. Overall, we have a pretty mixed team. We have a lot of AP damage in our team. Magic damage. Katarina, of course, with her on hits, is a bit more hybrid now. Enemy team is tanky overall. But I have an off tanky plan, so. These are the runes that I want to take. I want to stack a bit grasp in the early lane phase, be uh, resistance against CC, uh, or not so easy to kill. So let's go into the loading screen. Yeah, overall, Z to conquer. So I want to avoid longer fights against him. But I want uh, long enough fights to get grass procs. So I have some things to do on the top lane. Besides uh, getting his move farm as I can. And maybe getting in the option for rooms or two. I have to be careful against Kane as well. I'm the only melee on the lane, so if he wants, he can annoy me pretty hard. But hey, we're in the game. That was quite fast. Doran's ring. A solid uh, base item for Diana. Nothing that special. The position on the top lane and the overall more tanky part is a bit special. What items do I want to take? I've set me an item set, uh, no, not this one, this one. I want to get me a Rift Maker, and uh, oh, actually, my item bites are pretty um, much uh, blessed with stars. So, other players did this in similar or quite a different fashion as well. The Rift Breaker gives me Omni Vamp, a bit ability haste, some uh, HPs, a good amount of AP, and I will get more damage if I can stay in fights. So this is what I want. Mm. Uh, so let's see if we can help Evelyn here. So it looks like we lose our blue buff. I will skill my W for this. Helping her a bit. And then... Yeah, it should be fine. With this one. Z used the uh, option to push me in here. Got this conqueror stacks a bit faster than I hoped. I only got one of the first three minions, first three mini minions, so I have to be careful. The pull for Evelyn is quite painful for me. Oh, she actually got to uh, charm him. How do we get the flash? It's okay. I don't thought that she would go even further. But it gets me a bit chill time on the top lane here. 
getting from of course not getting damn it not getting um grasp sacks if he's not here This hurts. But I want to back anyway. Gaining another grass proc. These dashes are really helpful. I remember that times well. As Diana hadn't uh, dash on the E. That was a pretty nice trade for me in the end. Could be, uh, have been really problematic. As I said, I want to go for the uh, Rift Maker. That and uh, some health pots. I get executed. Fine. I'm totally fine with this. <laughs> ah, good start. I uh, will use the money that I get I to go closer to my mythic. Riftmaker is pretty good. nice item. No, this party. Oh, Katarina just. In there, pretty hard. I guess she will die. Actually, Diana survives. Uh, Katarina survives, of course, but Evelyn didn't. This Aram early yeah, was pretty insane. Should get my useless items to the right spot. Now he gets a combo off. It is okay, not fine for me, but I can live with it. Once I get my hands. Uh, hitting the Q is crucial. Yeah, dodging his... Oh. And getting off here. Crucial. But at a, a not so nice amount of good. Have to base him. And head back to lane. East level 6 right now. And I'm still level 5. He's still level 7. I was too much in base, I guess. We can kill him, I guess. Evelyn. Actually, even I got the kill, which is even a bit nicer for me. 
Right now, we got Evelyn an assist. She can use this as well as well. That's pretty nice. But I don't know. Nothing really special to an usual top lane Diana. Of course, she's not seen that much on the top lane. But um, this could change uh, with any shift of the matter. So. Why not testing things? Not getting grabbed here by him. Now I don't have that much mana. Damn it, he cancelled my E. I want the cannon minion. I got the cannon minion. I will go base and take the Lich and see him. Oh, the blasting one? Lich should be my next purchase. Another amplifying tome. Yeah, that sounds nice. I get two pots. Maybe I should go for a flask. This still exists. Yeah. I could have bought a refillable potion, but didn't went for it. And now I uh, have 150 gold shut down. So I should be careful not to die. Oh well. Zed uh, uses his presence. And uses his options here well. I got to kill him, but they leave me. Shouldn't go that hard for grass procs. Otherwise, I lose too much life. Mm. I can teleport back in. And I need to teleport back in. Otherwise, my tower will uh, suffer a lot. Now, yeah, I can for the, go for the Aether Wisp. I have the goal to do much more. Uh, I missed to stop him here. Skill in Q second E would have been really nice as well, but this is mostly only a gap closer that resets with hitting Qs. Or if you use it on a target that was set previously by Q, you get the refund. Using my passive, the cleaving auto attacks is pretty useful right now I have a bit of mana issues I cannot turn back. Uh, what do we do here right now I would like oh Has a grass proxy here, man. What can I get more? I don't know. Uh, not like. But. But. Aye. Yeah, you must say. You must ping him. I speak only truth. <sighs> we have 
have a, a bit flamey going. I don't know why. And some unneeded plays, risky plays. I don't really like this. Mission gets a kill there. But I can't really progress further into my buy. This is a bit annoying. I don't want to buy stuff that I can't use directly. Embrace the night. Killing another Another uh, control ward. This looks a bit silly, but the control ward would prevent seen. them to place normal wards there. The other wards don't. And now I have a illusion. Please. Please. Go away. I'm degraded to be his support right now. That's not what I want. Man, stop farming my creeps! I have to waste my abilities. I will go bot lane. I don't go for this shit. <sighs> I don't like it, but it's. I feel necessary. Power will be done before I be there. Maybe. Uh, it's not the best start in the game. I've got a good fight with Z. Lucian knows how to play Lucian, but I don't get it why they uh, why they fight like this, why they flame each other. Okay. <laughs> now it's a stay and fight Diana bot lane episode. Mm, let's see what we can do here. I have my ult ready. Shut down. And I am pretty dangerous. Uh, she had to flash. Uh, Should have skilled Q. Wanted to skill Q. I will be heard. I know as long as I can farm somewhat, I am fine here. Even if Lucian and yeah, actually the damage that I get from them is pretty okay and uh, right now I don't have much tank items okay I have the arm guards but um, these aren't that important in this case are we gonna stand here some here I have no mana. Ouch. 
do I get revived with some mana? Maybe we can help Katarina. Uh, I need my Rift Maker. I need more stuff. Damn it. There's the tower gun. They would not <laughs> The top lane overall on the left side as I play is for Diana Besser co better cause of her swing of her Q. You can actually hit no. more minions. It's one of the abilities themselves that prefer to be on one lane. Should be careful here. She actually could fight me with her ult. Ah, she got a Kraken Slayer. Of course, I'm not a Kraken, but uh, I'm of course not so squishy. So, I guess Kraken Slayer is one of the better items against me. Okay. There, they both got hit by my ultimate and got the damage that I. <laughs> Using the blast cone there. Pretty close. Can we do go for that? Really much no. Oh, pretty much yes. Yeah, Evelyn should be able to. Oh, okay. He died. I'm fine with this. I got my Rift Maker. Pretty nice. <sighs> I can go for the Monarch Embrace or the Lich Pain. I will take the blasting one next. It's in both items, so I'm still keeping my flexibility. If I need more tankiness, I should go demonic embrace. But the rift maker will, in the end, further increase my damage. That's it. Demonic embrace gives me armor and magic resistance for every second in fight. I. With it, I want to stay in fights. With Edge Pain, I'm more the burst one. It's not wrong on that. It's more the usual Diana bite. Lucian, Lucian, Lucian. We should careful for the care for the dragons. We need wards there, and yep. I hope my team can do something here. Get the dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we get something here. Katarina and Lucian both deal uh, solid damage. Even though Lucian is a ch not so nice person. <laughs> but this shows that I want uh, the Nemonic Embrace next. Uh, it's clear that I need a bit more tankiness, and this will get me a lot of it. On the other hand, um, Mercury's for some magic resistance should be really nice as well. 
as you saw in my item by three set here, I have set me some options to be even more tanky with the force of nature, Ranuin's omen, uh, spirit research, and even gargoyle's stone plate. It's a pretty nice item, but I need a lot um, HP items uh, to make the gargoyles worth. So, if I go Nash's too, uh, the gargoyles isn't that nice. If I get uh, Nashus Tooth, the Gargoyles isn't that nice. Uh, Lich Bane, uh, Nashus isn't get that nice. Zonius Hourglass and uh, Stone Plate isn't that nice. Um, it's more an item if I fill my entire library. Fuck, I we could do more Wombo there. Katarina ulting in my ulti would have been really nice. But in the end it pays off. I guess this could be a pretty nice game. We'll get my mercs now. It's even a suggested item for Diana. So the off tanky bite that I set here isn't that far from the meta. Generally good. <laughs> Generally good. Uh, it's pretty nice. <laughs> and hey, I have an episode that I wanted to record if I get placed top lane in these games. Of course, I set myself to main mid lane and second top lane here. For these normal games, of course, I would take this bite into rank. At least consider to take it into ranked. I need to get more familiar with this bite and. Uh, with Diana, there was a time where I truly made her a bit. It's one of the skins that I actually bought. Ah, damn it. Uh, here you see, I'm not uh, used to it. <clears throat> Good, my team in the mid lane does well. Yeah, old me. And as you see, even though he has an item by that and a rune that we are sent to stay in fight, I have it as well. <sighs> yeah, this was the game. Pretty short one. Bit sad that they surrendered. But in the end, I'm showed a little bit of the inner top lane. Oh, I even got a Ness with that. I will report the Lucian. The Katarina did well. Yeah, the Katarina did well. Eve did well as well. I wasn't the main carry here, but uh, I was closest to the tank in our team. So, uh, me not getting the perfect set that's here. Uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> as always, if you're um, the anime in um, the mid lane or in, even in the jungle, which is optional, even on the top lane, try a bit more tanky bite, it's sometimes a blast to uh, um, let the enemies underestimate your overall tankiness. Of course, I didn't give came to my second full item, which is a bit sad. But anyway, I will show you this and maybe I will follow this up. And even, yeah, my damage is solid, even though I don't want it to up for damage alone. <laughs> that damage is a bit uh, special here, because he was clearly um, below me in most cases. But not the damage as it looks like. Right here. I guess this is a nice game. Maybe except the damn annoying uh, Lucian, who 
which gets reported here for me. Ah, it's a bit sad. But, hey! This ranks it up. It's a pretty nice and rather short game. See you next time with the next episode of X-Trading.